the only thing that controls you. Nowadays 87% of the population is living in reality of fear fear simply because you are not living within life you are living in your thoughts thoughts that are always about what's going to happen next or in the future and that means your fear is always about that which does not exist if your fear is about the non-existent your fear is 100% imaginary if you are suffering the non-existential we call that close to insanity people are always suffering from either what happened in the past or what may happen in the future because they are not rooted in reality in the present moment you're lost in your imagination. And that's the basis of your fear. What fear does is it puts boundaries around you. It is because of fear that you build those boundaries all the time. If you put boundaries and restrict the area of your life, you may be safe because you're living within your comfort zone. But the problem is you're not going to be happy with your life because you will never grow. It's like being in prison or being Trapped by something that controls you, you must decide whether you have come here to experience life or to avoid life. You only have two choices forget everything and run or face everything and rise if you want to experience something majestic. Then you have to do something you've never done before. There are two kinds of fear the first one is fear for our protection, and that's already part of our intuition. The second one is a fear that is only planted in our thoughts like a fear of poverty, criticism, ill health, and life after death. Many people like you are really very intelligent, talented and brilliant in their own way but because of our fear we become dumb, illiterate, ignorant. Untalented never flourish unhappy and weak. This kind of fear is the type that controls us to become something that we really desire. Your limitless fear is not a product of life. Fear is a product of hallucinatory thinking. You suffer that which does not exist because you are not rooted in reality but in your thinking which is constantly eating upon the past and excreting into the future. You don't actually know anything about the future you just take a piece of the past. A prime makeup on it and think that it is the future some people worry too much. Because they are very afraid that something bad will happen do you know what fear stands for false evidence appearing real. Do not let your fear decide your future. Do not let your fear control you from the habit of drifting if your fear is based only in society like criticism. That is not a fear it's just a state of your mind that fear was only planted into your thoughts. Remember you cannot experience a true reality if you live within your fear. Wake up and live the reality and desire you prefer become a conscious creator. Because you are one consciousness what do you call subconsciousness and unconsciousness are simply convenient terrors for things that you do not want to face but if you understand the difference between fear for our protection and the fear that's only planted to us there is absolutely no reason to fear anything unknown we are all meant to shine as children do when we are afraid we pull back from life when we are in love we open up to all that life has to offer with passion excitement and acceptance we need to learn to love ourselves first in all our glory and imperfection if we cannot love ourselves we cannot fully open up to our ability to love others or our potential to create experience and discover because love is your powerful driving force to overcome your fear that's only planted into your thoughts people will always have negative things to say about you no matter how much good you do so just keep going because the tragedy of life is not death but what we let die inside of us while we're alive